This is Top Gamer 007 here, and thank you to everyone that supported my channel since its semi reboot early summer. And this video right now is the 20th official VG Bulletin on the show, and that's why I wanted to, to thank you guys for supporting me. And I hope you guys support me through many more VG Bulletins in the future. Links to all news articles and timestamps is gonna be in the description below. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get started. Fire Emblem Warriors release September 28th in Japan, or you could say in our time in North America, it's September 27th. And it looks like the full roster of playable character is revealed, obviously, because the game released in Japan already. I know you West, Western fans, I say, want to know the full roster of characters, right? Wrong. I am going to tell you the exact number of characters from each Warriors, um, each game Warrior borrow from, like Fire Emblem, Awakening, and all that such games. And if you're interested, if you are interested of learning these exact characters, because, you know, spoilers, and I hate. I hate spoilers for games that release in Japan first, just like Persona 5 did and Kingdom Hearts 2.8. I hated that. So I'm not going to spoil your fun of discovering this. So the link to the whole roster with the names is going to be in the description below. And you know, I'm going to only tell you from the original games they came from. So first, we're going to go with Fire Emblem Warriors. Have three original characters. Five characters are from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. One character from Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia. One character from Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade. Nine characters from Fire Emblem Awakening. And finally, 13 characters from Fire Emblem Fate. Based on my calculations, it's going to be 27 playable characters in Fire Emblem Warriors confirmed so far. Remember, this is Japan, and I don't know if these information is accurate because i don't have the game it's in japan and it's going to be six non-playable characters from this roster roster and it's going to be 33 characters in total in general so it's going to be a really healthy roster in general as playing the game for what's who's in the game and obviously dlc could make these characters that's already non-playable to be playable of course and most likely will do that that's my prediction of course and this might be my last time covering this game unless new information about dlc come out because i myself want to avoid spoilers with anything with story or characters i still don't know every character i just counted uh obviously the characters that's already confirmed but I, myself i don't know every character i just counted and and i'm just telling you guys and if that's the reason why I'm not going to be covering anything from the Japanese side of Fire Emblem Warriors. But be patient. Everyone should be patient. Shouldn't buy the game in Japanese. I don't support any type of... I don't. This is this is based on my opinion. I don't support any type of going to, going to play Asia and getting games and coming over here just because you cannot wait. I, I am not a fan of that. I just shut myself in and don't research anything else about the game you guys must have missed this best part of the vg bulletin let's move on to the vg bulletin mini yes i didn't forget about the mini series we got two bullets yes two bullets to shoot through so let's get started i never thought i would ever be covering a mobile game i tried my best to avoid news topics about nintendo mobile games such as fire emblem heroes and the microtransactions and the new characters coming to the game and we have to throw money at nintendo so we can get their stocks up and but a really fun nintendo mobile game just got a huge update i know what you know what i'm talking about yes me tomo got a huge new update i mean <coughs> sorry i mean super mario run got a huge update called version 3.0.4 Includes Daisy, why not? Playable character, Remix 10, a music playback feature, and more. I wanted to mention this because Super Mario Run is my favorite mobile game. 
and I'm a huge fan of Mario, so anything with Mario, I will cover this on this channel, unless it's some microtransaction game, and I just forget about it in the corner. Did you ever thought, why did Yoshi ever spit out his tongue from Mario? I didn't, I never asked that question. But, well, I already know why. But Mario's abusive to dare Yoshi for years, from Mario leaving Yoshi outside the goal, up to Mario escaping danger from lava pit. But Mario always have an excuse. His big excuse is to get his cake at the end of the game every time. <laughs> no, we have more information. Why? Mario is an abusive pet owner, right? And I'm gonna butcher this name. I'm trying my best. I will even try to put this on screen right now. If I, I hope I remember. <laughs> Shigigami Fumi Hayono <laughs> is the character the graphic designer on Super Mario World and who created Yoshi. Has to say, quote, Lots of people think that while Mario is pointing his finger forward he's saying go and yoshi tongues come out however the setup that i drew was that when mario punches yoshi in the head the character tongue shoots out in surprise what more there's an added bop sound however it seems like it would say poor yoshi so that's why it became that Mario saying go. Even when I was growing up, this is me, I always thought that Yoshi was getting bopped by Mario every single time. I don't know, man. This is like no news for me, but this is more evidence. More evidence to show that Mario's... <laughs> abusive pet owner a punching Yoshi every time and he was such a... Do you even see Super Mario World 2? Come on. Like, but this is showing it that it's getting more evidence, more making things more clear in the development of Super Mario World at the time. Well, that's everything part of the VG Bulletin Mini. So let's continue to our normal schedule broadcast just as I was going to say a arms update is incoming in update exactly when i recorded i finished recording the whole incoming bit and everything and then our update came out and i call it well i'm last of the party right i'm too late to cover this news so instead of reveal the patch notes for arms let me guess you want me to cover this full patch list right right yes yes i am going to do it i'm going to bet it's going to take more than five minutes of this video to read the whole thing. But I am reading, well, I'm reading this uh, patch notes. It's going to be on screen, of course, and I will try to make this quick. I don't know if it's going to take a long time or not. So let's get started. Let's move on to the patch notes, of course. Versus stage, spring ring can now be selected. It's a square stage without gimmicks used in the warm-up minigame. Enjoy some serious bouts enjoying the soundtrack of the arms official theme song spring ring will also appear as a stage and right match fix an issue in headlock scramble where sometimes guardian and clap back arms would fail to expand fix an issue when the rewards for one on hundred would change if played while search for a ranked match. Adjust some fighters and arms, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Ninjara adjustments. After getting some advice from a ninja colleague album, distance travel from performing a mid-air miss warp has increased. Miss air warp refers to a ninja transform performed by dashing by after jumping now we're gonna go to the arms right sparky increase reaction speed mega walt increase extension speed slammer dammer increase extension speed decrease reaction speed the bulliferer increase reaction speed 
the blue orb increase reaction speed it just how damage multiples for rush attacks function total damage when connecting with all hits is unchanged funchaku increase the time span from inciting a target until reaction adjust how damage multipliers for rush attacks are functioned total damage when connecting total damage when connecting will all hit is unchanged fix issues during online when rush damage will increase under un certain conditions fix an issue when a fix an issue when at times an opponent throw could be deflected with a single completing throw attack. I, I think that happened to me when I was using it. Not to me, when I was doing it to them. Clap back. Decrease rush attack damage. The Chilala. <laughs> Chila. I think that's the ice arm. Decrease curving. Phoenix. Thunderbird. Decrease homing. Nate. Thunderbolt. And Charm Ram. Decrease speed of charge attack. Wow, I've actually finished this way earlier than I ever thought I would ever do it. But the, this is the patch notes for ARMS. Uh, this is really interesting. Some of these stuff that was fixed, I had uh, something to relate to. Uh, that should have been fixed, or shouldn't be there from the beginning. And I do like the new features of this new update. So, uh, is this enough for anyone to play uh, continue playing arms when they out of it? I don't think so But this is for people that still play are still on those online lobbies still trying to get the highest rank and They want to fix it like Splatoon and gotta fix it balance up the weapons or the moves and and that's it Final Fantasy 15 is one of my favorite RPGs of last year not including the Japanese release probably games came out in Japan first and they released early 2017 uh, I don't count those but it's my favorite RPG that I played in 2016 and if you still play the game like I do you should be excited for this update according to Square Enix these you have scenes from this version version 1.16 and it, it adds scenes that includes about uh, War of Astros that set up much of the background of the game events. In version 115, the game added a chapter select, and that means, of course, I didn't cover this before, but that means you don't necessarily need to start a new playthrough, so you can just watch the cutscenes, and that's awesome. Gr that's really great. Also, if you want to download this update, this is gonna take a little bit from your hard drive. No compression, nothing. 4.3 gigabytes. So, every day, every single day, man. Final Fantasy 15 is fixing everything that was wrong one by one to make Final Fantasy 15 on PC when it released the ultimate experience when I buy it early 2018. And obviously, I didn't forget about the they fixing the current versions of the game. Yeah, I didn't forget about that, actually. I leave the best news for last. The Blue Bomber still haven't have an official game since it re the release of Mega Man 10, I believe. It looks like Capcom hasn't forget about Mega Man. Kasahiro Susia, I probably butchered that name, the producer for the two Mega Man collections, says at Tokyo Game Show, quote, I want to say that Capcom has not forgotten about Rockman. This 30th anniversary logo here is being put to good use. Rockman 30th anniversary is coming in December. December. Please remember that date. He continued, quote, On behalf of Ichi and everyone else here, we are looking forward to it very much and I hope you are as well. We are deeply pleased to be able to share this with all the fans who have made this possible. Thank you for all the support up till now and in the future. Even Nintendo Everything says maybe we can get a Mega Man game at the same time as the Mega Man animated TV show in 2018 and I believe so myself. I knew that Capcom may be making a huge Mega Man game to tie in with a TV show later this uh, later 2018. I believe that this TV show 
is meant to reboot Mega Man to a new audience and make people to buy their games. And I believe this is a smart move if Capcom do it. If Capcom exactly do it exactly, right? If that makes sense. Just please, like, I'm, I'm begging you, Capcom, please don't be a Sega. Remember Sonic Boom? Remember Sonic Boom was to be a tie into a game to bring back Sonic to, to the masses, I guess? And look at Sonic Boom, it's really bad. And I hope, I and mean, the Sonic Boom name is staying forever. And we don't want this to happen to our new Mega Man that's supposed to bring new audience in. You don't want the Mega Man fan, not fans, but new audience to look at this game and say it's trash. Why would I care about watching the show and the new Mega Man? So Capcom, please learn from Sega mistakes and make a good tie-in video game for the TV show. So many more Mega Man games will be released and new people will buy it. So, yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like videos like this one to help expand my channel and share the video if you think you can form someone else and comment below about your opinions about these articles. So, this is Talk Gamer 007, and I see you in the next one. Peace.